Okay, so um, I've got the head attached um, to the body. We're just going to set that aside. And the next job is to make um, some legs. Um, so I'm going to use a stick for this, which will be in the supply pack. I'll just set that aside and I'll show you how we go about making the legs. Um, I've just um, taken off a strip of uh, the wool from a batting. As you go to um, tear the batting, it's going to tear easily one way as the fibres are running, the way the fibres are running. So if we just, we can see it wants to go that way. So I'll just set those aside and it doesn't take an awful lot of wool this. So about halfway, you know, maybe a third of the way down the stick we can see kind of see the length that we're aiming for. It doesn't matter if you have a lot left the loose stuff at the top we can tear that off. So let's start about there and it's all about um, getting it wrapped tightly. So with my thumb holding it in place, this will be the top of the leg and this is going to be the foot. So I'm going to wrap it around, keeping hold with my thumb and finger. I'll just move down nice and tight. And just keep wrapping down. I'm going slightly diagonal because I'm overlapping and it holds better if we just go in this movement all the way down. You see how tight that is? I can turn it as well just to keep it more taut and I'll keep going keeping it tight if you get come to a lot of bulk just stretch it a little bit and roughen it out and then when we come to the end of the stick go beyond we'll do that again because we want a little bit to be able to fold up I'm going to stretch it at this point because I don't want all that bulk building up there. Just enough to make sure that we've got the end cover. Then really tightly wrap that round. And now we're working our way back up. Overlap it. break off there and then if I just twist that in my hand while it's still on the stick I can do this okay now that's holding by itself I'm going to push a little Thirty-eight needle in. So I'm just taking it and stabbing at the end of the foot. We want to firm it all up now. You can actually stab on the stick. Just don't stab right into the stick. I'm working my way around the stick. And then I'll push it off a little at a time. 
and then we'll work on the whole leg and that will just slide out okay I want this foot shaped a little bit better so if I just stab back into the, the leg again finger guards are a good idea so if you slip with your needle it doesn't hurt okay so I would work on that and already I can feel how firm that leg is um, so the ones that I've made previously a bit thicker we can practice away and um, get uh, four of a reasonably same size well, those three are fine that one's just a bit thinner so we'll use that for one of the other sheep so the next job is to attach the legs once you've made your four same size legs so this loose wool at the top I'm just going to spread out a little so it's firm all the way down here and we've got a nice firm foot and the loose wool at the top will help attach in place and the front leg if you place it so its chest is sticking beyond, out beyond the legs I think about there and then again using this loose wool to attach can't see it get my 36 again and just concentrating right on that area and then all this loose wool we have we can stab into the, the body we can also take a little bit of your loose wool and lift up there I'm constantly working between the two needles because I really like to work with my 38 my blue needle that's why it's marked but the um, 36 will secure it better so first of all if you go around and attach all the legs in place um, so if I stand that down like so there is some flexibility once you've got them attached we can tug them a little bit or needle them back so needling in to the top of the leg will reduce the length so that we end up with four um, same size legs and they will stand up yes like so I've got a little piece of um, pre-felt for the ears and we're going to attach those like so so it's just depending on how you want your ears positioned we can also add a little bit of um, the flesh colour into the inside the ears so All I would do is just take a tiny amount if you want to add some colour and take a little bit of your your white as well and we'll just break it up together so that it's, it's a bit more subtle and if I just 
roll that in my hand. So my blue 36, 38, sorry. Just I'm gonna add a little bit of that colour to the inside of the ears. You could also add some more wool to the outside. I don't think that's necessary with um, with this shape. Okay, so I'm going to add Going to put these ones around the back of the head so that I get the desired effect and it will attach really easily. Okay. Like so. So we're up to this, this stage where we have the ears attached and the legs attached and we need to put in a face detail. Okay. 